Somebody asked the question, why is no one playing elemental bow builds? Let's talk about it. The patch is 0 0.9. We've been in the patch for about a week now. I remain unconvinced that crit bow builds exist. They're probably okay at the bare minimum, but they have a fundamental problem that they never had in the past. In the past, in patch 085 for last epoch, you used to have crit vulnerability. You could stack up crit vulnerability very easily by hitting a whole bunch. And then that would give you 100 crit. You would crit automatically. On every single build, you had no investment in the crit chance. And that was just kind of what Rogue did, whether you were a Blade Dancer or you were a, um, a bow character. So now, crit vulnerability, as of the 0 0.9 patch, we have this thing right here, crit vulnerability. It's limited to 10 stacks instead of infinite. And it adds two instead of five, chance to receive a crit. So how this works is if you have, you have five base crit on every single skill. So just real quick, let's talk about crit vulnerability. Crit vulnerability. You have five base crit on all your skills, and then you have, you've maxed out your crit vulnerability. That means you're 20 plus five. So you have 25% chance to crit, right? Uh, if you have like 100% increased crit, all of a sudden you have five base crit with 100% increase, puts you to 10 base crit, but then you just add crit vulnerability on top of that. So now you have 30, because your 10 plus 20 is 30% chance to crit. Or I guess 10% chance for you to crit and 20% chance for the enemy to receive a crit. Got it. So Blade Dancer is not that bad, because Blade Dancer can build crit. Like, you can get crit on your gear. It's not a big deal. Um, when it comes to bow builds, your options for crit are severely limited. Uh, if we take a look at a bow right here, if I click on marksman like this, we click on a bow over here, click on this, click on this, look at the prefixes. We get increased critical strike chance. Your, uh, your spell characters get to use an offhand, which, which gives you six crit. Your, um, your melee characters get to build crit as a, uh, as a prefix modifier. Your throwing builds get like implicits as well. You might say, yeah, you get implicits. Well, okay, let's go over here. Let's go implicits. Go critical, this thing. Um, which the guys? We have we have like a little bit of base crit. There's like one, there's this one, the obsidian bow has plus four base crit on it, right? But like it's like telling me that I have to play a spell build, but like I only get plus four base crit instead of plus six base crit. And like you don't get much crit across the rest of your character. And like, yeah, it's probably fine. Like maybe you get like 50 or 60, maybe 70% crit. But like, I don't know, man. They're they're not really what they used to be. Especially when you consider like the meta um builds that marksmen were doing. You were not only scaling bow crit, but you were also scaling like generic crit because you wanted your let's go take a look at this real quick. Uh, you were also scaring generic crit because you wanted your Reign of Winter Icicle procs to crit as well. So, if you're only building bow crit, first of all, your Reign of Winter doesn't have base crit on it, and you're probably not going to LP percent increase critical strike chance, probably want to LP like attack speed or something, right? So, your bow crit build was like the most, way the most common bow crit build that everybody's playing. You play with Morning Frost as well, and like everything crit, but now you have no crit. Because Rain Winter doesn't have base crit on it, and you're not getting base crit for the Ice Skull, which is a spell. So it's kind of all over the place. I've been telling people that bleed builds, even bleed Rain of Winter. Man, if you want to play bleed with Rain of Winter, it's so good. I love it with like detonating arrow. It's one of my favorite builds. Uh, it's very good. If you want to play like a damage over time thing, I'm I'm relatively convinced that the best boa build that you can be playing right now is Hail of Arrows. Hail of Arrows was really strong in the past. It remains really strong. It's virtually unchanged, even though it technically got a nerf. Don't talk about it. Um, yeah, but like Rain of Winter with Hail of Arrows, probably the best bow build. The only reason that I don't, don't really talk about Hail of Arrows very often is that Hail of Arrows is a specific play style. I feel like when someone says, hey, I want to play a bow build, I feel like what they're saying to me is I want to play Tornado Shot. And the closest thing is like maybe flurry maybe multi-shot maybe detonating arrow that's kind of cool bow looking stuff that you would normally find in action rpg but like where do you get crit there there is none there there is no crit here increased crit cool like <laughs> it's so different than what it used to be and the crit vulnerability change is pretty sizable like you get the 20 crit from crit vulnerability 
but you can't scale it. It's not your base critical strike chance. You can't just have five plus crit vulnerability puts you to 25 and then build a 100% increased crit and it goes to 50. That is not how the math works. If you only have 100% increased critical strike chance, you go from five plus 20 to 10 plus 20. And it's just, it's just weird. I'm sure you can make it fine if you're using an obsidian bow, but like I'm real skeptical and I sure wouldn't play it. So that's the TLDR on the 0 0.9 crit vulnerability change and where these bows and where these bow builds currently sit. I haven't played them, but I'm looking at the numbers and those are my thoughts.